Well, as is standard, the more you know, the more you know that you don't know. <laughs> the more I think that I have a, a bit more understanding of how society really functions, how to have reasonable, uh, fruitful interactions. And I just think about how How little I know, even when I, I, I'm 50 years old, and I'm still, I'm still at a point where I should have been, you know, socially. I'm at a point where I should have been probably my mid-20s. I just, I never was able to connect. I, I I am on the autism spectrum, and it's just... I can write out scripts, and they can be okay. I can sometimes talk off the cuff, and, and people will... Some people will be able to relate, but... I, I just don't look at so many things in the standard way that norm that, that, that normal people look at things. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it makes it difficult to feel like there will be people who can relate with my thinking. Now, at the same time, I found that the more that I talk with people, especially in person, the more that I, uh, I find that uh, I, I'm not as out of tune with things as I think that I am. So, the internet can really make you feel isolated, even if you're able to talk with so many people from all across the world. It can still make you feel very isolated. Some of it is because when you're online, you, you are willing to say things, especially if, if you're doing it in an anonymous fashion, Your people are invited to, to just say truly however they feel without any particular restrictions. I mean, I mean like I said, especially when it's anonymous. It's like, well, I mean, what per repercussions are they going to have for saying those things? So... And so if you, if, if you spend a lot of time in the online world, well, it can get a bit depressing. And many people have told me, hey, you know, get out there more. And, 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 and that's a very good piece of advice. I, I need to get out there more. I, I think I've come a long way, though, and a lot of that I've learned along the way when it comes to a lot of these just different places that you can actually have video chat with people. Um, over the past 
10 or 12 years, um, I, I think a lot of that has helped me quite a bit. And I think it's helped a lot of people quite a bit. Um, what, and, it, and especially those that are willing to show their face. I think that's helped quite a bit. But <clears throat> that still doesn't mean that I have gotten significantly better at in-person interactions. I've gotten better. Better than I used to be. I mean, night and day difference from what I used to be, but it's still not nearly good enough. It's still... I still am I'm like a little boy sometimes in in interactions. I'll 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 just suddenly resort to this this little boy syndrome. Oh oh no, oh oh it's pathetic and and, and I I mean, maybe it's not quite that extreme, but it's still a mode that I'll I'll I'll, I'll just go into in a number of uh, real interactions. Um, I talk about how I used to go to some of these uh, the biker bars, but where there's a particular one that I liked because they had this seating where you can. They had the regular bar seating, but then in the back, if you go towards the wall, they had this, I don't know, it was like part of a stadium seating. So you could kind of sit up high and just watch everyone. And I would do that. And I would be so scared of interactions and w would immediately go into the little boy mode, which is not a very good thing to do when you're in somewhere that celebrates uh, traditional masculinity. So um, I, I never ran into an actual problem. Um, there was one person who uh, and I say, hey, let's... Uh, it, it, and I, 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 I event, you know, sometimes I've been trying to be friendly with people and had try to start a conversation. And um, one person understood that I was wanting some sort of a masculine figure in my life. It wasn't necessarily a thing where they thought I was gay, but they knew that I wanted just input certain kinds of input because that's what I was wanting at the time I wanted that and and they supplied that and I and I appreciate that um, I appreciate any of the male uh, masculine figures that are willing to help people who are struggling in those areas I I I commend anyone who does that, who helps people into that, who helps people form, even if it's not a perfect sense of masculinity, it just, just something that helps someone form a sense of masculinity altogether, you know? Just just in general, altogether. That's not the right... Just, just, just someone who promotes at least any sense of masculinity to people who are struggling trying to find it. I mean, there's never going to be a perfect 
representation of of positive masculinity you, you've got a you've got a you know sort of pick and choose you you can look and see hey this is how this person acts this this is the way that they get reacted to you know hey I, maybe i don't want those kinds of reactions so i'll take a slightly different route but at least there's something to go by and i guess a lot of this still comes from you know not having a father i i think it's really really uh, does a disservice to to boys and eventually men to have this idea that yeah, well you don't you don't need a a a, a any sort of a masculine figure of any kind. Let's just redefine masculinity so you can be as as fruity as you ever wanted to be and that's still considered masculine or something, right? You know, a drag queen can be considered masculine now, right? Because, you know, we've we've redefined everything, right? Yeah, what it what <laughs> I mean, I'm a gay man and I still very very much struggle with this notion of what 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 is it what does it mean to be masculine <clears throat> and some people will say well why does it matter you know and it's just like well how do you know who you are if you can't bounce it off of society how do you know It, it just seems absurd that that we're we're, we're we we should just, I, I don't know it, it, it just it, it, there's this notion so much of this notion of us being so open-minded in society that that we no longer need any standards or roles or rules or any of that you know just just be yourself well what does that mean how do you define what yourself is if you don't have something to bounce it off of You know, how do you know, I mean, if, if you really want to break it down, how, how do you know what good is if you haven't experienced something bad, right? How do you even have a, a reference for that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I'm not sure where I'm going with this now, um, and I apologize for that. So, <laughs> thanks for watching.